In this video segment and the segments to follow, I will discuss how you can use the sketch figures you create to produce 3D features. I'm going to start by introducing you to the tools you will use to create 3D geometry. By default, the part modeling toolbar is located along the right side of the part workspace. The first tool on the toolbar is the extrude boss, followed by the extrude cut tool, and then the revolve boss and revolve cut tools. Moving down, you'll see the loft boss and loft cut tool, the sweep boss tool, and the sweep cut tool. The helical boss and helical cut tools are here. And here we can click the Design Boolean Options arrow to see the Design Boolean Features tools. The next two tools are for reference surfaces. They're the Trim Model tool and Thicken Surface tool. Next there's the 3D Fillet tool and the Edge Chamfer tool. And finally we have the Shell, Draft Surface, and Hole tools, followed by the Insert Catalog Feature tool. All of the part modeling tools are also available from the Feature menu. So, if I go into that menu, you're going to see that there are various categories. Within each category, you'll find the individual tools. So, there are groups of boss features, cut features, as well as thin wall boss features and thin wall cut features. Also, note that there are some functions available from the feature menu that are not accessible on the part modeling toolbar. The mirror and pattern function tools are two examples. Other examples are the Scale tool and the Remove Face and the Offset Face tools. You can right-click in the work area to access some of these tools as well, including creating a fillet, an edge chamfer, a hole, and a draft. 3D features represent the individual geometry that are used to fully define and create the solid model. You can add as many features as necessary in a part workspace to model your design. In the following segments, I'm going to introduce each of the part modeling tools and how the tools are used to create 3D model geometry. This concludes this segment of the video.